We learned that there was a possibility that CJ had a hearing loss at the newborn hearing screen in the hospital. We were told by the pediatrician actually not to worry too much about the follow-up, but I do have a history of hearing loss in my father's side of the family, so was persistent that he needed the hearing test. At seven weeks old, he had a follow-up hearing screen, at which point we were told that that hearing screen showed a moderate to severe loss, but to come back four weeks later. And so officially at 11 weeks old, it was determined that he did indeed have a hearing loss. So I already kind of knew myself because when I was deaf and he was deaf and I, he was born, I kept watching him and you know, I kind of knew and I kind of felt like he was. And I took him to the doctor, found out he was deaf. He was about nine months old. But I believe that he was deaf before that time, probably when he was born. We found out about Kate's hearing loss uh, at her birth. Uh, the, our pregnancy was completely normal. We didn't expect any problems, but when she was born, she was born without ears. She has microtia, and so it was very clear to us and the doctors that something was not right. They didn't know what the extent of her uh, problems were, but they did know clearly since she didn't have outer ears that there was uh, a problem with her ears.